Welcome to the Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. But have you ever wondered how the ancient Egyptians were able to build such a massive structure without the use of modern technology? Some experts believe that the ancient Egyptians used sound to construct the pyramids. You see, the ancient Egyptians were no strangers to the power of sound. They believed that the god of music, Horus, used sound to create the world. So, it only makes sense that they would use sound to construct one of the most impressive structures in history. But how exactly did they do it? Some experts well, believe that the ancient Egyptians used a technique called acoustic levitation. Acoustic levitation, the process of suspending an object in mid-air using sound waves, is truly one of the most incredible and mysterious phenomena in science. Let's start with the basics of acoustic levitation. The process is based on the principle of pressure waves, which are created by speakers that emit sound waves at specific frequencies. The most commonly used frequency for levitation is in the range of 20 kHz to 40 kHz, which is beyond the range of human hearing. When these waves come into contact with an object, they create areas of high and low pressure, which can be used to suspend the object in mid-air. This is possible due to the phenomenon known as acoustic radiation pressure, which occurs when sound waves come into contact with an object. The pressure of the sound waves pushes against the object, creating a force that can be used to levitate it. This force is directly proportional to the intensity of the sound waves, and inversely proportional to the distance between the object and the source of the sound waves. But why is this similar to the construction of the pyramids, you ask? Well, let's think about the pyramids for a moment. They were built using massive stones that weighed up to 80 tons each. And yet, somehow, the ancient Egyptians were able to lift these stones to great heights and place them precisely in their correct positions. It's almost as if they had some advanced kind of acoustic levitation technology at their disposal. I know, I know, you're thinking that's impossible. But let's not forget that the Egyptians were a highly advanced civilization. They were able to create the Great Sphinx, the largest statue in the world, and the Great Pyramid of Giza, the only remaining wonder of the ancient world. So, it's not a stretch to think that they might have had some kind of secret technology to help them construct their pyramids. And let's not forget that there are still many unanswered questions about how the pyramids were built. For example, the Great Pyramid of Giza was built around 2500 BC, long before the invention of the wheel. So how did the ancient Egyptians transport those 80-ton stones? Perhaps they used sound waves. Imagine the scene, the Egyptians have just quarried a massive stone, and they need to transport it to the construction site. But instead of using brute force and dragging it along the ground, they use speakers to create pressure waves that lift the stone off the ground and suspend it in mid-air. Then they use more speakers to guide the stone to its destination, carefully adjusting the frequency and intensity of the sound waves to control its movement. It's like a giant game of sonic Tetris. And once the stone is in place, they simply turn off the speakers and the stone gently sets down in its final location. It's not just a theory, it's a fact. Scientists have been able to levitate small objects using sound waves for decades. The first successful experiment was conducted in the 1950s by a team of researchers at Bell Labs. Since then, scientists have been able to levitate objects as small as a few milligrams and as large as a frog and a mouse. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's ridiculous. There's no way they could have created a frequency powerful enough to levitate a 2.5-ton stone block. But here's the thing, science has proven that sound can indeed be used for levitation. In fact, a study conducted by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration found that sound waves can lift objects up to 2 inches off the ground. And that's not all, recent studies have shown that sound waves can levitate objects up to 100 times their own weight, which is quite impressive. Perhaps the ancient Egyptians had some kind of advanced technology to do just that. But don't just take my word for it. Some experts have even built a replica of an ancient Egyptian sound device and have successfully levitated small objects using sound. In fact, a recent experiment by the University of Tokyo levitated an object weighing 1.2 kilograms using sound waves. 
Recent research has shown that it is possible to levitate larger objects, such as metal pieces weighing up to several grams, using arrays of speakers that generate sound waves at specific frequencies and intensities. By adjusting the position and orientation of the speakers, scientists have been able to levitate objects in a stable and controllable manner. One of the main challenges of levitating larger objects using sound waves is the amount of energy required to generate the necessary pressure waves. The intensity of the sound waves must be high enough to overcome the weight of the object, and this requires a significant amount of power. But the ancient Egyptians had a solution for this too. They harnessed the power of the sun, by building the pyramids in alignment with the cardinal points and with precise angles to the sun, to maximize the amount of sunlight that would hit the pyramid. So just like how the Egyptians used the sun to power the construction of their pyramids, they may have used solar power to generate the energy needed for acoustic levitation. So as you can see, the construction of the Egyptian pyramids and acoustic levitation may seem like two unrelated phenomena, but they have more in common than you might think. Both involve the manipulation of massive objects, and both require precise control and a significant amount of energy. So next time you're admiring the pyramids, think about the incredible technology that the ancient Egyptians may have had at their disposal. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be able to use acoustic levitation to construct our own pyramids.